to our weekly look ahead at the markets here at markets.com and um, well earnings season uh, kicks off uh, well was kicked off last week with the big banks we saw some very strong numbers really in the trading arms of the likes of Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs um, and JP Morgan uh, but net interest income was significantly lower as low interest rates uh, wreak havoc on banks earning uh, potential. Um, wealth management also doing rather well um, and loan loss provisions not as bad as expected. So this week we head over into tech and it's Tesla first up. Uh, it's reporting on Wednesday. Um, its shares obviously have been through an absolute rock roller coaster video and in Q3 it reported uh, record deliveries of 140,000 uh, vehicles. Um, expecting a decent number therefore from Tesla. Um, they've just had their price target upgraded by analyst Ben Carlo. Um, he's at, at uh, Baird. Um, he raised his price target from $360 to $450, um, citing uh, potential for the company to uh, let the spending, uh, unleash greater spending and invest to grow uh, because of the, the, the solid progress on profitability that they made in uh, recent quarters. And then over to Netflix, uh, they had a bumper first half of the year as they benefited from pandemic. Uh, lockdown restrictions which uh, uh, significantly increased the subscriber base. They expect a slowdown in Q3 as they, they've seen a lot of pull forward in the demand. However, uh, a lot of analysts are expecting this number to be a lot further ahead of expectations than uh, Netflix has suggested. Um, they uh, forecast a very conservative two and a half million paid at net at subscriber ads this quarter, but it could be significantly higher than that as we have seen ongoing restrictions. Um, and of course, just there's a bit of momentum with Netflix uh, that's building across the world. It's the number one subscribe, uh, streaming app and it's the one that people are most likely to have. And they, uh, if they have another subscription for the likes of Disney Plus and so on, then they almost always have Netflix as well. No signs of um, uh, uh, subscription fatigue setting in among viewers. Um, meanwhile, we've got some eco data, Fed Beige Book, Flash PMIs on Friday, and Brexit negotiations continue with uh, the pound going to be liable to significant headline risk over the next few days and weeks um, as the talks carry on. On Friday, Boris Johnson said that the UK would uh, continue to negotiate but was stepping up no deal preparations. So, a uh, lot to look out for. US election, of course, continues. Stay tuned in for uh, Helen Thomas from Blonde Money. She does an election special every week here on X Ray. And we'll have all the usual great shows for you uh, throughout the week. Thanks for watching.